you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy scripture by wisdom ministries march 22nd monday let's bring this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john chapter 8 verses 1 to 11 while jesus went to the mount of olives early in the morning he came again to the temple all the people came to him and he sat down and began to teach them the scribes and the pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and making her stand before all of them they said to him teacher this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery now in the law moses commanded us to stone such women now what is say they said this to test him so that they might have some charge to bring against him jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground when they kept on questioning him he straightened up and said to them let any one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her and once again he bent down and wrote on the ground when they heard it they went away one by one beginning with the elders and jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him jesus straightened up and said to the head woman where are they as no one condemned you she said no one sir and jesus said neither do i condemn you go away your way and from no one do not sin again the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends there are some doubts as to whether the story about a woman accused of adultery really belongs to john's gospel some would say the style is more uh, reminiscent of luke and uh, one can easily imagine it fitting into his gospel the scene takes place in the, on the mount of olives uh, just outside the walls of jerusalem it is the only mention of this area is the, in the gospel apart from the accounts of the agony in the garden yet it is like that jesus and his disciples would have gone there from time to time there is no question at any stage that woman was guilty as charged in our day of course we might like to ask what happened to the man it takes two to commit adultery both of them which of them was married partner or was it only the man but in the society which was very concerned about the legitimacy and the continuation of the family line the burden of integrity was on the wife extra curricular prayers of the husband were were taken far less seriously any children arising out of which such a lazier were the woman's problem and did not affect the purity of the family line but is also highly this tasteful in the scene is that a woman is dragged by the scribes and pharisees yes there are number of such plans in the gospel story the door says that this woman should be condemned to death by stoning what is your opinion it is a little like the question about paying tax to caesar whatever jesus is like likely to say he will convict himself out of his own mouth in fact the law specified death but not the manner of execution for adulterers however chitranami describes stoning for a betrothed virgin caught in adultery yes jesus cleverly throws the ball back in their court if there is one of you who has not sinned let him be the first to throw a stone at her in a strange show of humility they do not reply they are reduced to silence and one by one beginning with the eldest they go out eventually jesus and the woman are left alone has no one condemned you no one sir neither do i condemn you go away i do not sin any more does, does this mean that jesus condemned adultery not at all but he sees in the woman the seeds of a repentance and the 
potential for conversion jesus looks always at the present and the future and never at the past looking at this story we can first look forward with the confidence to the same compassion from jesus for our sinfulness but we also need to have the honesty of the pharisees who did not dare punish the woman because they acknowledged that they too were sinners how often have have we unhesitatingly sat in judgment on someone for wrongs they have done with never a thought of our own culpability picking specks out of others eyes while they are planks in our own amen may god bless us